Entourage for Lola Knox. We may have to do that. Uh oh. Chiron Throne has been let go. Oh, it looks like the Snow Foxes have uh, loosened up some salary. They go from 3.8 to 1 point. So Wax Plows, a relief pitcher, is now available out there. And that's all. That Lola Knops thing may be worth it. It's Lola's uh, loyalty right now. We've No, she's 84. So we'll hold on to that for a little bit. Donovan and Lovestone are the only ones who are really in, like, bad. We just had to end up paying people more money at the end of the year. Stump Juarez, Rip Dingers, Meow Bupkins, all up there for player of the year. Rip Dingers leading the Triple Crown right now. I, I'm a terrible player, making him look good, so... Magic Molo up there with 39 hits on the most hits in the league. Oh, Asher Ryan trying to catch lethal on stolen bases. Robin Yu has taken off with that. Z is down there as well. And Lola Von Shoot. Round on out the top 10. Uh, Lola Knops is now, well, she, she, one of our relievers, most wins. That's, that's what I was talking about. She's usually pretty uh, reliable and not in that last outing she had against the heaters. Always wanted with freshly harvested beauty components from Cadaver Labs. Traden's welcome. Ooh, Stump and Rupert up there with strikeouts. Shaman right behind them with 55. I think we got back-to-back -back games on the road here against Hollywood. You have two? I'll have you all know that my lower back is killing me. I did some electrical wiring yesterday in the garage. And I spent a ton of time, like, on my knees and having to, like, bend over sideways. And my back does not appreciate that. All right, we're heading toward after this divisional series here. We'll be at, we'll have ten games left in the season. This first seasons went pretty fast. I'm actually shocked about all this. My daddy used to say, when it comes but we go on the road today to take on Hollywood. They've got Hopper Crush on the mound. He's oh, he's consistent, but he's 0-3. So he's consistently bad, I guess, right now. 5-6-7 ERA. We've got Air Lovestone on the mound. She's 2-0 with a 2-10 ERA. Lethal Fion is now our number one notable player. Young, 21 and 22. That's what I thought. All right, we're heading to the Emerald Diamond here in Hollywood. You know, somewhere uh, I've 
invested in like a uh, lumbar pillow. It would probably be nice and beneficial to actually use that right now, wouldn't it? It's almost like it was made for this type of thing to uh, support your back when you're uh, playing video games and doing stuff. It's almost like it was designed for that. Who would have thought? All right, Lethal stepping in, locked in today. Going up against Hopper Crush. It's the first pitch as a ball. Good one. Green one. Lethal looking to get on base here. Hard hit down the line. That's going to make it a full count. And that's going to be hit to the gap. That's going to be extra bases. Lethal rounds first, hits the second. I don't think they're going to be able to stop her there. She's hitting the third. That's going to be a leadoff triple for the feline. That's why she's number one on the notable players, I guess. So a pop fly could temp potentially bring in a run. We'll see what Chan can do. And it's not going to matter. Chan with a single hit in the center field. Lethal trots on in. One nothing sirens here early against the Herbosaurs. I do believe the Herbosaurs are at the bottom of our division. We'll see what Rip Dingers can do here. Pitched high for some reason. Oh my God, I missed that one. That would have been gone so far. I do like the contrasting orange, green, and purple. I think if I play FM24, the Drake's jerseys will have that kind of look to them. I was way too early on that one. That was a slow pitch. Two on, no outs. Crush having some struggles here. Three and one. Full count. And he'll walk the bases loaded. Had to bring up Aubrielle Duffy. She's getting the start today. Seen limited time this year. Let's see what she can do here. Coming up with some attitude. I like it. That's going to get through. No, it's not. But I think everybody's going to be safe. And that's a single. The bases are still loaded for Jesse Donovan. No out. Rush. And that is going to get through. Jackie Slam throws it in, but that's going to bring in two more. It's already four to nothing here in the first. I did bring two in. You know what you did was wrong, but the question is, how are you going to make things right? Oh my God, Figueroa. That's going to be uh, caught. Runner is going to tag up. Ball oh, baseball, Dad. Thank you so much for the follow. I love the name for reasons. Tish Ballin will step up, and we are just dominating them here in this first of the game. And that is going to get through. Oh, my Lord. 5 nothing with runners on the corners. It's going well tonight. I mean, physically, my back's hurting because I'm old, but... We've went through the entire order here in this game. We are uh, taking our divisional rivals to the cleaners. And then our pitcher does that. And that is a double play. The 3-6-3 three, three double play will finally end it. We go through the whole order, but we come out with five runs and six hits. Adcor, LaGrange, Freehold do up for Hollywood. I don't believe any viewers are on this team. So I don't have to feel bad about it. No, none of you are there. All right, Air Lovestone on the mound. We picked her up. She's been somewhat constant. We'll see how she does today. She's got this elusive fork ball. We don't get the call. 
One, two, pitch. Ground ball. Aubrielle Duffy. Let's see if she's going to hold her own. Good Lord. Yes, she does. One away. Jonathan LaGrange steps up. 211 average on the year. Five home runs, 12 ribbies. Sometimes when it says A minus and they play shortstop, I think it says ass. What position do you play? I'm going to ask. All right. Hey, Amberlin. How are you doing? Oh, get him on the fork ball, and Ayers filling it. Oh, she's being cocky. Not as cocky as Meow, who had 14 strikeouts last game, but we'll take it. I love that the two girls we've brought in are outpacing our aces. That's a ground ball, but it's going to go foul. I, I've been very elusive, but I hope you're doing well. I've, uh, especially this month, it, or last month, I guess, it's been such a busy... Chan, our man, makes the catch, and that will end the inning. Let's go. Curl power. Yeah, between... I, I Well, I, if you miss any of the streams, there's a link down below. I've got a VOD channel where all this stuff goes to that channel, and then I also have the YouTube channel. Because a lot of people were saying the same thing you said, is they, they just didn't catch the stream, so I'm just cutting them in big chunks and putting them on there. All right, we go back around. Lethal back up here. Second at bat for her. I shouldn't even have swung at that. Lethal, big swing, but Lethal just doesn't have the power. Our speedster pops out to Buchanan there in right field. One away. Number 17, Rishan Chan. I posted that picture in Discord uh, about uh, that dude's... Uh, Wow, we went from hitting everything to doing terrible. Where the guy's number one song on uh, Spotify was the Ass Man song for Billy Gunn. He played it like 5,000 times or whatever. Here's Rip Dingers. He leads the league in everything. Another broken bat. Are you kidding me? We go to the bottom of the second. Jackie Slam, Muffin Studwick, and Riley Reynolds. If any of you are out there lurking, go ahead and hit that follow button. Why follow your dreams when you could follow me? We've also got a Discord channel. There's a link down below. If you'd like to be a player in Season 2, exclamation Season 2. We'll give you a link to the video and the sign-up sheet for that. I can't promise you stats or anything like that, or teams, but uh, I can get you somewhere or make you a free agent. It's a terrible pitch. Oh, Lethal's got that one, though. The feline strikes. This pillow's actually doing tremendously well on my back. If Crit comes back, I'm having a stern talk with him. That's one thing that like separates me from like I, it maybe it separates me from other people at stream. I think about people that like was here like ten years ago and we don't ever see them anymore. And part of it's probably like I suck at streaming, so they don't show back up. But the other part is probably life happens. You get married. You move on. You go. Uh oh, that ball's up there. Can Chan get to it? No, he cannot. That's gonna be extra bases. Chan throws in. They're gonna hold him at second. But, uh, you know, there's certain people we had that lived very wild lives, and I really worry about them. Um, so I don't know. But I'm one of those people. I remember, I'm, I've got a very, like, I cannot remember what I had for breakfast yesterday, but I can remember things from years and years and years ago perfectly. So it's a curse. That's popped straight up. Jesse Donovan cannot get back to that one. Definitely check out YouTube and do yourself there and go back and watch some of the old Let's Plays. Like, at least. Man. I need to dig that one out and do the tutorial because they tried to remake Deadliest Catch and the remake was terrible. That's inside. What do I want to try here? Bird ball outside? I've solved there's a free call. I know Grimmeth and I toyed around with that for a while. Nope, inside. 
guy's gonna have a great at bat. I mean, it's not great for helping her stamina, but Duffy should be able to complete that. And that does it for the second inning. We'll head to the third. Buck Swiner. Aubrey Duffy and Jesse, du Jesse Donovan do up. It was a good game. And the videos that they had on them, um, Sig and all them, is amazing. You cannot beat a game. They don't... I've looked at some early access games and stuff, and I'm almost to the point where I don't even want to buy early access anymore. That was a hard hit ball, but right to the first baseman. Because uh, I'm just tired of buying a product that doesn't get finished. Like, my Steam list has tons of games on it, but it's like, I don't want to creep into that world yet. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought he was going to hit her. Oh, I was going to charge the mound. You can't charge the mound, but that'd be great. Oh, I thought she was going to put it right back on him. Yeah, a lot of the gaming industry, especially the digital part of the gaming industry, has really took a downturn. It scares me sometimes the way it's heading. Duffy's going to go. Throw is... I think Shigatani applied the tag, but we'll go with the ump. That is a terrible swing. Now batting the second baseman, number oh my God, the golf game, the old Sega game with Grimmeth was great. The Asian sensation. I, I, Lethal and all of us should play golf. I know they, oh, the runner's gonna go. I know they asked me to play golf with friends once. I guess the games had some more added to it or whatever. It looks a little bit more decent. That would be fun to do. And there's a base hit, and that's going to add a sixth run. Eduardo Figueroa. Poor Jackie Slam. Jackie Slam is center field. She needs to be let go by this team, and we need to pick her up. I bet she'd be $30 million, though. Of course, I can't say much. I still play World of Warcraft religi religiously. Runner goes. That's another steal. Oh, nice catch by Reyna. Can't even be mad about that. Well, I raid on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Lethal. But sometimes weekends are free. I've been doing a lot in the garage. Hopefully that's about done. Wait, I, mu I must have missed a question. Somebody's answered it for me. I don't know what Makatayuki has said. Shh! Stop giving away my secrets! Woo! Frozen! Like Elza! I hope AC36 is still out there so he can be upset about that. That's the first Frozen we've had this evening. Another strikeout. Jackie Slam gets picked up and she's always super expensive. And that's the thing I don't understand about this game is a lot of these free agents, like I could see at the start of the next year that they are super expensive, but toward the end of the season, it shouldn't, it shouldn't like jack up that much, but I guess I get why they do it for the very reason you're talking about, but that was a dirty, dirty pitch. Lovestone is a dirty, dirty girl. All right, we head to the fourth inning. This game is kind of a snooze fest for the fans right now. Lovestone, Lethal D, and Grecian Chan do up. Now back, the pitcher, number 26, Air She just cheered. She's like, yay! Air Lovestone nope. takes ball one. Big swing there. 
Hard hit ball. She'll hit it in the center field and get a single. Now back the first baseman, number 86. There was somebody when I did a mock draft, one of the viewer created people, and uh, it was, they were like $36 million. Lethal went for that one, but again, it falls right to Jackie Slam. They ruined Jackie Slam. She's another one like um, the redheaded girl pitcher that totally just slipped my mind. They ruined their whole looks. Like um, Jackie Slam had such a unique look. And they got rid of all that to in this game. Alicia Woodrow, yes. Like, that's the one thing. Get down. Oh, what a catch. Jonathan LaGrange, nice defense on the th hot corner. The third base, number 90. She never makes it to that. But yeah, certain players just had a certain look about them, and they just, they just ruined it all. Ooh, that's going to fall fair. That's going to move the runners with two outs to second and third. Tribes three. I feel like I've heard of that. My problem with games like that is, like, like I said, World of Warcraft takes up so much time now. It's hard for me to get into anything else. And I've been redoing my remodeling my garage pretty much. That's took up a ton of time, which that's done now. Ground ball up the middle. That's going to score one run, maybe two runs. Slam's going to throw. She's got the arm. She'll get ripped. No, they cut it off. It's 8 nothing. Oh, my God. The poor Hollywood herbivores who are in last place in our division. Just embarrassing right now. Like, I'm contact hitting. Dude, you try to hit one of my players again. That may actually, that's going to score another run, isn't it? Go three, go three. Just get, test, no, you're too slow. Um, nine nothing here in the fourth. But we're having a good conversation with chat right now. So, chat, if you're looking for a Christmas present, my Patreon. <laughs> World of Work. AC, you don't think anything's worth the time. I enjoy, here's the bottom line. And it's been this way since day one when I played World of Warcraft when I was still in college 19 years ago. I don't like World of Warcraft for the game and story per se. I like it because of the the guild aspect and playing with people that I like playing games with. It's just the way it is. And that's probably the same reason that I like streaming and talking to you all and here and in Discord and everything. That community aspect is something I have to have in my life. I'm a very social person, and that's what I love about it. All right, Linux Doctor, he must work on printers, is coming into the game with a 338 ERA, 17 strikeouts. AC36, you buy me Farming Sim, and I will look into it. Hey, I know you can't see my face. <laughs> all right, Jesse Donovan up here. It's only like $6,000 for all the DLC that comes with it. That's up the middle. Shigatani will finally bring the blood to a stop. Three more runs into the fourth. LaGrange, Freehold, and Jackie Slam coming up here. Lovestone, she's on a lot of pitches. I don't think she'll get a complete game today, but she's probably going to pick up the win the way it's looking now. She's on a one-hitter. I've really been looking for another series of doing uh, maybe NCAA football revamped, but who knows? That's a ground ball. Ooh, lethal. Captures that one. The backhand steps on the bag. Parker Freehold. We have very few games where we get to run up the score. This is actually an oddity, especially when we took that big loss earlier tonight against the Heaters. I was actually worried about how the stream was going to be. I thought where we're up in the 80s and hitting and stuff, it would be an issue. Oh, Rip Dinger's getting in on the action. Look at Jackie Slam. Look what they did with our girl. Jackie Slam. 
Oh my God. You know what half these players look like? I've got a statue or a little face thing that I hang in my kitchen. I call it the moon man. My grandfather got it when he was overseas. And it's probably one of those ridiculous things where all those people, when you go to those, he, it was when he was in the military. When you go to those tourist places, they make and sell. I'm sure it was cheaply made. Half the characters look like that face. I need to go downstairs and get it and show it to you all. So, you, like I said, I call it the Moon Man. It's just it's this metal thing, and it's got like bone teeth and these eyes. Um, that's what half the players in this game look like, and it's the one of the most disappointing things. That's popped straight up. Duffy is underneath it. Figueroa, Ballin, and Lovestone coming up. Bottom of the order here. Figueroa's done well today. Of course, everybody done well on that first rotation of hits. Let's see if Lennox can stop the bleeding here. Nope, that's going to go right under his leg. I'm picky, Mother Love. I'm sorry. I just... I like beautiful game characters on both sides, and I feel like we're getting to a day and age where making beautiful game characters brings up the conversation of, well, that's not the way the real world is and stuff. Well, who cares? It's video games. Let the characters be beautiful. Runner's going. And that's in the field. They're going to go ahead and run. Figueroa hits the third. Oh, my God. Hollywood. We could see why they're in last place now. This is, this is embarrassing. That ball has popped up really high. And that's another run. We put 10 on them. Pitcher number 26, Air Lovestone. I just feel like they got PlayStation graphics. Why did I swing at that? I'm sure we've we've lost big before. Here's Lethal. She's locked in. One for three today with that triple. They got the game started. Lethal set the tone for the team. Let's see what Lethal could do here. That was an interesting strike call. That's a little blue. And it's going to drop for a hit. You know we're going to try to steal with Lethal. I bet the first pitch they throw over, though. Nope. Lethal on the way and safe. Their pitcher has no arm. I bet Lethal could steal third. <laughs> I probably could have ran home just then. I can't believe I swung at that. I really thought that was going to curve back in. All right, we head to the bottom of the fifth. It's 10 nothing. Studwick, Riley Reynolds, and Ernesto Buchanan do up for the Herbisaurs. Hey, Lethal, you got two more stills to pad your stats. Lethal wants to draw blood. There's a base hit, so the second hit of the game for them. On the Yankee Lovestone, she's given up two hits now. Here's Riley Reynolds. Oh, she's given up three hits. The Roman Empire starting to fall. Kidding me? Uh oh! Could it be the rubber banding? We'll see here. Shigatani is not known for her power. We'll get one run. Alfonso Delgado coming in. He's a first pitch slayer. They get one run. 
I think we got kind of screwed on that call at first just then. Got him on the fork ball. Thanks for pinch hitting. Reina Hardcore. Figueroa should have that one. And we'll get out of that inning. We give up a run, so it's not a blowout. Balin Rosario coming in. She's got the same Jackie Slam face. Almost exactly. 476 ERA, 13 strikeouts. Rip Dingers, Swiner, and Duffy do up. Number 90. I'm going to look a little creepy. Thank you, Mother Love. I'm usually way forgiving on stuff like that, but I think it's a downgrade from Super Mega Baseball 3. Hard hit ball. Hardcore gets him. Nice play. Buck Swiner, one for two today. It's ball one from Rosario. That's a bad. Shikatani is there. Is Aubrey Duffy. Hey, you know, her coming into the game, she's three for three. I'm proud of her today. She's uh, she's had some really good um, defensive stands, too. That's probably not going to work out in her favor. Never mind. Maybe she should start. Number 24, Jessica Donovan. I don't know what kind of magic she just worked on that one, but yeah. She's gonna try to steal. She's gonna keep up with lethal, and she's in there. Oh, Shigatani, what defense. That'll take us to the bottom of the six. Good Lord. LaGrange, Freeho, Jackie Slam coming up. They're all over. I think I'm going to pick up a new hobby starting next year. It's also something I can record and stuff. Actually, I'm thinking about two hobbies because I'm getting old and I need to develop old man hobbies. Ooh, he hit that curveball. Oh, it didn't even let me try to slide there. It just switched to Tish Ballin. No, my uncle does model trains, though. Like, he does World War II reenactment cities, so he's got, like, when one of his, my cousins moved out, he's got, like, this big, I bet it would take up my whole upstairs room, where he, like, builds, like, he's got, like, a World War II German city, like, there's a factory that's building, like, Messerschmitts, and then he's got the train that carries parts from here to there, and then they got trains full of, like, other stuff going to the other part of the town. I mean, yeah, he he's all into that. He's retired from the Navy, so he was always obsessed with stuff like that. Oh, Rip Dingers, can we get the second? There's one, and oh, the cannon arm! The 5-4-3 double play, let's go. As long, I was going to say, as long as we don't let Jackie slam, we're good. He was always, he actually, when he was in high school, he was such a good drawer. He actually debated on being a tattoo artist um, because his hands were so steady. Um, so he can draw, he could paint the models like super realistic. So instead he went into dentistry and then he went into the Navy and led like the dental corps and stuff. Oh, that drops. That'd be beautiful. Figueroa is on top of it today. So, yeah, he was going to be... It was between a... It was weird. He wanted to be either a tattoo artist or an or a 
architect, and then he chose to go in the dentistry. We've stole so many bases today against their poor, uh, their catcher who has no arm. That ball's hit really hard. I don't think it's enough, though. Nope. Jackie Slam's going to catch it. We're going to test her arm. Figueroa moves over to third with one out. The pitcher, number 26, Air Love Star. So I think we're starting to see now what happens when a team... Lovestone's going to knock in another run on the fielder's choice. We see what a, uh, what a bad, bad team in the league looks like when they drafted bad. If he did tattoos on the side. I don't think uh, an officer can uh, do random tattoos. Come on, Steve. Lethal's going to kill me. There's something, I'll say there's something kind of... All right, we go to the bottom of the seventh. I should have uh, done some uh, Studwick, Reynolds, and Buchanan coming up. Eleven to one game here. This is a good one to leave early and go get something to eat. Oh, but lethal dives. Loves. Oh, Lovestone dropped it. Lethal does this magical, magical slide or diving grab. They're going to bring Ricky Kwan in to pinch run. Something tells me they're going to steal. Now they don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we better be careful here. Oh my God, Lovestone throws it into the outfield, but luckily Tish Ballin was back there. Good swing. She just launched that. Shigatani comes up here. Bullpen starting to work for the Sirens. That's going to bring in a run. So they're going to get another one or two on the board. That's perfectly placed. Nope, just brings in one. She's not used to throwing in that direction. <laughs> oh, and they're going to bring in Irene Fast as a pitch hitter. Fallen, they're going to test her arm. Oh, oh yeah, let's freaking go. Ooh. Tish Ballin guns down the runner. Holy cow. What a play. So Jeffrey Jenkins, they're going to their long reliever here with a ERA in the nosebleeds. He's in like the upper upper decks. 956, 13 strikeouts. It's time for the Chan Dingers and Swiner do up here. So they have amassed some hits. So I think I'll go to my bullpen starting next inning. Some of them need some uh, action after they uh, really sucked the last time that we put them out there. Chan comes in. Big pitch there from Jenkins. That's hit opposite field, but LaGrange is there. Throw across the diamond in time. Baseman, number 90. Here's Rip Dingers. He's got a single and a double. Probably not enough bats left to hit the cycle. That ball just fell out. He's going to fall 0-2 in the count real quick here. Pops that one up. Come on, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. That clearly bounced off the wall.
Are you kidding me, game? There, no, go back and look. It bounces into the glove. I... The game says nope. I call malarkey. Pop of the order due up for them. Hardcore Lagrange and Freehold. I think I'll bring Stephenson out as a setup here. Vacuum glove, no bounce. So what you're saying is it curved. See, we don't get to do that. In the event horizon, the glove pulled it in. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel better. That ball may be gone. Tish ball and retreating back. She will catch it in the warning track. Parker Freehold. Over th That's a bad pitch. Luckily, she was on it early or late. She's on the other side of the bot plate. Three one pitch is fouled off. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, she went for it. Lethal chasing. And Lethal's going to catch that one. And we'll head to the ninth. Hey, kids. Now in the game, Grizz Senora. That's going to get through for a base hit. This girl's been tearing it up since we put her in the start. It, that's what the bad part about having two girls who are awesome in, mid -fit, or in the middle positions is shortstop and second. Put Grizz in to give him some action. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Runner's going. She's in there. I mean, Hardcore wasn't even on the bag to cover. Ooh, that's spicy. How about it? The second base. Figueroa, he is three for three today. Figueroa. Ball one. Goes opposite field. If it lands, it does. Runners on the corners now, one out. It brings Norbert Owens in. We brought him in. We don't get to play him a lot either, so I'm giving him some time. Runner goes from first. It's in the dirt, so safe. Oh my god, what a bounce! Norbert knocks in two by bouncing it off the rubber patch of the ground, I guess. A member's bounce indeed. Um. Wow. Okay. That was interesting. So 13 to 2 now. That's popped up. I played a lot of baseball in my day. The first baseman. Number 86. And even when I hit rocks on the ground that shouldn't have been there, the ball does not bounce like that. Uh, we tried to go opposite field. That's what, oh my God, this team is so bad. I kind of feel bad for them. 
That's a hard hit, but Ardcore is there, and that'll take us to the bottom of the ninth. Who do we bring in? Who do, who do I want to mess around with pitching? Um, let's give Munstar a chance to bounce back. I don't think they've let anybody go yet. Oh, hot hands lethal. We've like took Jackie Slam completely out of this game. Like, we had a bad game against the Heaters. We have bounced. This has been the best game we've played all season. They're down to this. Oh, Figaro and the cannon arm. What a game. <laughs> Let's go. Nineteen hits, thirteen runs. We did have that error where Lovestone decided to throw it in the center field. Such a tight one. That one that one made me sweat a little bit. They did come back and get a little bit of action there toward the end of the game. Two runs on seven hits. They had an error as well. Lethal goes two for six today, scored a run. Chan, one for five, and an RBI. Two hits for Dingers. He didn't have a Dinger. Uh, one hit, two RBIs for Buck. Duffy, five for five, two RBIs. Probably second place, because I would say Lovestone may be the player of the game. Donovan had a hit with two RBIs. Senoro didn't get anything uh, pinch hitting. Figaro, four for four, two RBIs. He's probably third. Tish Ballin goes one for three with an RBI. Norbert Owens, who comes in there, one for one, knocks in two. One for four for the pitcher, Lovestone. She had an RBI. You love to see it. Lovestone picks up her third win of the season. Her ER drops down below one, nine, or about, dips below two, excuse me, words. How do they work? Six strikeouts on seven innings, seven hits, one earned run. Not a bad showing for her. Stephenson and Munstar both put in an inning apiece, giving up absolutely nothing crush three and two thirds gives up 12 hits nine earned runs his era jacks up to seven six three he drops the zero and four on the season doctor one and a third two hits one earned run one strikeout uh, rosario and jenkins come in four innings combined give up five hits three runs duffy is your player of the game our backup shortstop five for five and then figueroa and then lovestone i'm shocked probably because she only went seven innings who do i have to destroy here oh we get a plus loyalty here i'm shocked Bro Broom wants a new face for their NRG campaign. Elaine Munstar or Guerra? Oh, well, we're going to do Guerra. Starting pitcher, yeah. I mean, that'd be stupid not to. Oh, I wanted another positive. Are you serious? All right, let's see what happens here going in the league. Gue Geckos, not the Guecos. Oh, they lose at the very end, 4-3. That was a tough one. San Juan San Cats. Come back and win that one close then. All these games are close, unlike ours. Ah, uh, Kyoto destroys the heater 17 to nothing. DC wins 5-1 over the Cobras. Cobras, Freebooters, and Sandcats all tied for the Tropical Division. Three-way race there. Hot corners, pull it off. New York trying to get a win. They do. They'll pull within a game of the Crocodons. Snow Foxes winning 10. Lima trying to get a win. Oh, they're holding on. They win nine. They get their 10th win of the season. Wow. Lima beats the moose. That may be the biggest highlight of the, the night. The moose lose again. 22 losses for them. So right now it stands the Crocodons. One game lead over the Nemesis in the Eastern Charm Division. Pixarkana, game and a half up on the hot corners of Iowa. 
Platypi, two and a half games up on the Grapplers. We're five games up on the Overdogs. Penguins, four games up on the Cyberbots. Eaters, game and a half up on the Night Warriors. That division, that Jap Japanese division, so close. The Tropical Division is also closer because the other teams still have a game to play. But Porta Plata, Caracas, and San Juan are all like tied up, essentially. Lima is doing well. They're bringing that run difference back up. San Juan going the opposite direction. Frog two and a half games up on the Royals. Heidi Mabetz has been let go. Rusty Nozzle in to replace her. So we're starting to see. Uh, Heidi Mabetz is not bad, but $8 million for her right now would be way too much. And then DC also lets go of Mutton Avila and brings in, or no, they let go of Betty Sparks, excuse me, and bring in the youngster, uh, Mutton Avila. So they, they saved some money on both accounts, but they're not too far down the standing, so I'm not sure what DC's doing, but maybe. What kind of player development do we get? Anything? I don't think we got anything. Chan's muscles seem to be getting bigger at a suspicious rate. Plus seven power. Do nothing wrong with this. All right, so let's look at some team stats here, see what some of you all are doing out there in the world of baseball. The Lethal's batting 357, RBI machine, and base stealing 13, probably leading the league in that, or very close to tying uh, that other person. Let's see, we got Guadalajara. We've got... Oh, they've actually moved a reliever ahead of AC's player. Or I, no, I don't know what's going on here. I think they have. I think they put Dozer McKinney into the uh, first spot. One and two, four, five, eight ERA, give up 20 runs in seven games, 39 strikeouts. You're holding the opposing teams under 293. Heaters, we looked at earlier. John Smith batting 195, but three home runs, eight RBIs. Been hit by pitch twice. Fallon Standos, who started against us, looks like a bench player, 307 average. No, no, played 26 games. I don't know what the computer does sometimes. It makes no sense whatsoever. Let's see, who else do we got? Kyoto, anybody? No. Jax, let's see, Queen Griffith. Uh, batting 301, four home runs, nine RBIs. One stolen base. Lima, Asher Ryan, 328 average, four home runs, 27 RBIs, 11 steals. Uh, Zenus, you're batting 333, repeating, of course. Uh, three home runs, 14 RBIs, two, or no, that's hit by pitches, no steals. And then Gray General, batting 230, one home run, 11 RBIs, five steals. No, that's zero steals. These lines are running together on me. Uh, B-Wolves, I think, what, Travis is on that team? Travis batting 310 with three home runs and 10 RBIs. That's poetic. Three steals. London, uh, Z's on this team, batting 267, six home runs, 19 RBIs, eight stolen bases. Uh, Pete, batting 274, seven home runs, 19 RBIs, one steal. Moonstars, Rick Schneider, you are batting 291, three home runs, seven RBIs, 14 strikeouts, though, six stolen bases, not bad. And then Wembley. 
Batting 263, one home run, 15 RBIs. Evermore Wireless. Let's see, Everyone Sandcat, wants. Snow Foxes, I think, had somebody. Folks, you want to avoid the island highway. Or I'm just morning. making that up. No, no, Colonus is on the team. Okay, Colonus batting 308, not bad. Five home runs, 15 RBIs. Pretty good line there. Soul has two people. Cayman is a pitcher, and then Biggie Rivers. Biggie, 364 average. Dang. And then pitching wise, Cayman, he's got a win, he's got a loss. His ERA is above one finally. He's given up three runs, three saves in 19. And I don't think he's pitched any in the last, like, this stream. I swear he was 19 two thirds the last time we looked at him. And Pico, Chip Wafers, batting 337, six home runs, 20 RBIs, three steals. Texarkana. Uh, me, I'm batting 276, only three home runs and 13 RBIs. I have no steals. Very upset about this. You would think with my, like, 18 speed. Lil Levon Shoot batting 222, four home runs, more home runs than me. Uh, 16 RBIs and uh, seven stolen bases. It was on the top ten there for a while. Uh, Jack Brennan. 150. They are misusing Jack Brennan so much. If Jack Brennan becomes a free agent, I'm getting Jack Brennan. Don't know where else they could play, but that player is amazing. Uh, is it the wild? Oh, the wide look, I think. Let's see here. We've got Jackie Daytona batting 333, seven home runs, 12 RBIs. No steals. Molo, who we'll be facing here soon. 328, five home runs, 13 RBIs, five steals. Brisbane has Reaver as a pitcher. Reaver's one and four with a 585 ERA. In seven games. Opponents are batting Stone Cold Steve Austin against him. Oof. Oof. We did hurt Reaver early in the season, so he might have had the pitch with uh, injury. See, Nick is on this team. Uh, oh, it's at the very top. Four home runs, 16 RBIs, batting 248, three steals. Cobras, we've got Makatayuki batting almost 300, 299. Five home runs, 13 RBIs, and no steals. Pitching, Shaman is battling back. Shaman now 3-4 and four with a 4-4-7 ERA. So he's picked up a couple wins, and he's got a little bit better ERA. 55 strikeouts. Two complete games. I think one of them was against us. Uh, DC, uh, have we got everybody? I feel like I missed somebody. But judging from my list, I think we did get everybody. All right, if the playoffs were today, Green River would be playing the Wild Pigs. Hot Corners and Platypi, Sirloins and Grapplers, and the Overdogs and the Crocodons. Penguins taking on the Sandcats, which that... that Sandcats, Cobras, and Porta Plata. All of those could switch. Cobras and Heaters, Moonstars and Blowfish, Night Warriors and the Freebooters. Looking at the best players around the league. Stump Juarez still up over Damian De La Cruz and Rip Dinger somehow. I'm actually kind of shocked by that. Rip Dinger still leading the Triple Crown. Our hitting's on 80, by the way, ego-wise. Asher Ryan up there with hits, 39. So Robin Yu is leading Lethal and Asher Ryan by two and four steals, respectively. 
Thez is down there with eight steals. So it's good to see uh, a lot of you did pick speed as your base characters. Nops up there with wins. Stump leading and strikeout. Slip slaughter. Slip slaughter. Slip solder has jumped Guerra. Shaman is right there. Alicia Woodrow's out there. Meow Bupkins is a new uh, person on the list. All right, so there you have it. Looking at our schedule, the next time I stream, because for some reason I'm just getting wore down, I was wanting to do at least the next Hollywood game, but I don't know. I, it, it feels like it says I've only been going for like almost four hours, but it feels like much longer. I don't know what it is. Probably because I've not streamed for a while. My uh, I'm run down. I'll have to bounce back. So yeah, we got to take on the herbivores again. We do have our ace on the mound. They have their ace, Bourbony, on the mound. So we'll see what happens. Maybe they bounce back. Then we go on the road against Wyoming. Jackie Daytona's on that team. Uh, then we got Molo and the Bulls. Then we got Travis and the Bee Wolves. And then we'll see Grimmeth. And then uh, Thez, our Z striker. And then, well, we got people in the next. Every game coming up besides the Herbosaurs, we have viewers on the team. The Moonstars uh, have Snyder and Wembley, and then Tucson has Jack Brennan. And we get them. For, oh, no, and then we turn around. We have four games in the division back-to-back. -back. Oh, that's the end of the season. So we probably won't end the season next stream. We'll probably get about to here, and then we'll try to finish it that next time so i'm gonna try to stream tomorrow the problem is is the acc championship game comes on that night so if i stream i've got to work on my garage and then i'll have some time in between so it'll really depend on that window it'll probably be an early stream if not sunday after church i'll stream and try to do a long one so anyways Thank you all so much for the subs and the follows and everything. If you're out there lurking, hit that follow button. Why follow your dreams when you can follow me? There's tons of links down below to get into the Discord, the, the VOD channel, the regular YouTube channel, and all that. Moggers, I don't want to hear it. First of all, my Ravens are going to bash your Eagles when they play them. And then my Cardinals tomorrow night are going to be ACC champions. Just because Kentucky won the state championship, we're going to win a conference championship. But anyways, now that you got me all riled up, I hope everybody has a great night. Have a great day. And Moggers, this is for you.